Mr. Uh, Lips from Canada's Anvil. How the hell you doing? I'm doing. Yeah, you know, man. What, what can I? What can be said? I haven't played America too much. Matter of fact, this is the first time you've played San Francisco since 1988. What what took you so long? Uh, just lack of interest. Uh -huh. Basically, uh, staying out of the market, being obscure. It's part of my uh, psychological uh, deficiency, I suppose. Uh, in a certain sense, I've I've evaded stardom at every cost. Uh, I have an opposite. An opposite attitude towards uh, towards the music business. Come and find me. I still prefer the '70s and '80s metal. It seems. Uh, M much more understandable. It's not. It's not. Uh, they haven't got Cookie Monster imitator singers. You know, I. I you know, the death metal. Stuff. Yeah, I can't handle that stuff. It's does nothing for me really. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just just overall, the '90s music scene has pretty much sucked. I think. <laughs> Done well in all the other countries throughout the world, haven't you? Oh yeah, well enough to keep going. I don't need I don't need the American market to keep going. I uh, am very very uh, uh, comfortable in the position that I that I now carry. It's been 23 years. I'm very I'm very content. Uh, if if uh, the American market happens to pick up on Anvil, that's well and fine. I have no problem with it. But like I say, it's uh, to become commercial like Ivory Soap or like Metallica. I'd just I'd have to pass. Uh, we did the Strength of Steel album, and it was very much against my my grain. Uh, I had a lot of trouble during that uh, period of time putting that, uh, getting it to tape because. Uh, I was very disappointed throughout the whole recording as to what, where the direction was, what songs got chosen. I mean, just about everything about it. What that Mad Dog video? Well, the Mad Dog video was something that I actually... The whole concept of that was comes from me. It was very and actually, funny. And in, and in actuality, I think it was probably the only highlight of the whole entire project. <laughs> How'd you get the name Lips? Yeah. Is that, <laughs> that, that really where it came from? Oh, I don't know. I so you always got to give a raise. Okay, we'll say that's where it came from. Sure. <laughs> um, one of the albums called Plugged In Permanent, which was a uh, a piss on on Nirvana's uh, Unplugged. You know, it's anything to to sort of carve on, give the opposite. And then the record after that, we called it Absolutely No Alternative, and we had the anvil crushing uh, a radio, an FM radio. Um, 
you know, so it's the newest album is sort of a venture away from that. It's called Speed of Sound. It's a little bit a venture away from the yeah, but you're crushing something, so yeah, that's Speed of Sound, that, that, that was your, that was your newest album? That's the newest one, yeah. I have never forgotten what got me started, and nor will I ever forget. And it comes down to I love music. I love the music, and I love to create. That's the real bottom line, is creating. Not following, not copying, but creating. It's from, from nothing to something. Right. And that's, that's what it is to me. And anything less than that is a waste of time. From Anvil, from Canada, out here, we want to know lips. Just go off and just go gather up some hoes from the whole stroll for the fellas after the show. Sounds like, sounds like a party to me. You know what I'm saying?